we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, 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 Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. My name is Elle. I'm going to do, um, I don't know, this is going to be kind of a full moon reading for Aquarius. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, you have some really good energy. Uh, some repeating energy also. Aquarius, you have surrendered to the divine, okay? You have surrendered to the divine because the divine wants you to surrender to the divine. No. <laughs> you have to surrender to the divine because you are on the way to a dream, actualizing, realizing, coming true. Uh, you might have a bit more work to do. Also, I was getting with this, you're going to have to separate yourself. For some of you, the dream hasn't been realized. It hasn't been made true. It hasn't come into you because you're still in the same place. You're still in the same group setting. You're still hanging with the same old friends, old family. It's like the universe is like, we're going to bless you with what you say you want, but we're not going to bless you with it if you're going to share it with because this is not for them. So some of you, it's about coming to a determination that you're gonna to have to really, uh, you're gonna to have to surrender. You're gonna to have to surrender some relationships. This could even be, you know, kind of, the word surrender can be transposed with sacrifice. You're gonna to have to sacrifice. You're gonna to have to let go of. You're going to have to surrender to the divine in regards to getting what you want. The divine sees it one way. You're trying to see it another way. You want it your way. The divine says, no, it's going to happen this way. You also may need to take some time for yourself. And you also need to surrender tough, uh, argumentative, high energy type of dynamics, relationships, whether that's at work or is a uh, personal, platonic, romantic. If a relationship requires a lot of energy out of you, like a lot of push and pull, fussing and fighting, you doing all the work, you having to quiet yourself, you having to, um, you know, twist yourself and not be the contortionist so that you can maintain this connection, then it's saying surrender it, let it go. It's not supposed to be in your life. Take the road of least uh, resistance. Um, Right now, you could be getting the answers that you need, that you need, that you need, not the ones you want. You want to be told that you can have it all and you can have it all now and you can have it all the way you want it, but you're going to have to surrender to the divine. Right now, it's make it or break it time, Aquarius. It's, it's really time to let go of the past and move on. You might need to forgive someone and move on not forgive them and then you guys are going to make up a plan of how you're going to be back in each other's lives and it's going to be this, this no forgive move on 
at this point, it might just kind of be like a sense of madness surrounding and madness in the air. You, you, you can feel the tension maybe at work or with family dynamic or friends. You can feel the tension here. It says surrender it to the, to the divine. Let it go. This is a extreme turning point in your life. And then you also need to just take time for yourself. Once again, if things don't align with your, um, with you, your spirit, you feel like it's always like a fight. It's always, um, you've got to go into situations defensive. Um, you can't even be on the offense. You got to be defensive. Um, this is crazy. Who wants to live like that? The universe is saying, the universe is saying, surrender it, let it go. Okay. Um, why they want you to surrender is because the energy is gaining momentum and these two came out together and your hard work is paying off Aquarius. Okay. Um, back to repeating theme here, whatever you're doing, you're on the right path. The energy is gaining momentum. You could be kind of moving incrementally towards your goal, towards your dream coming true. Um, it might take just a bit more work, a bit more effort from you. Again, it talks about if you're in tough, um, disagreeable situations, then you can't stay there. You're not going to be able to manifest. You're not going to be, your manifestation power is not going to be all high or mighty because your, your energy is um, distorted, is divided. Okay. So you need to make sure that you are not around people who pull on your energy who pull you into things that you don't want to be in. Um, yeah, you need to make sure that the energy is gaining momentum. You started something. Always remember that most things start small, okay? Most of us, we're not going to be an overnight success. Are there overnight success? Yes. And congratulations to those who are. Um, but everyone is, that, that's, that's like winning the lottery. Everybody's not going to win the lottery. So you can't bank on that. You need to live in the fact that, okay, it may take some time for you to, for, to see your dream come true, but it says, stay with it, stick with it. Don't let it go. It's time. It says that maybe like more effort is required from you right now. You need to review some of your goals and just make sure you're still committed to it. Cause you may not be whatever you're in. It's full of potential and definitely you're headed in the right direction. It just says, keep moving forward. The energy is gaining momentum. This is like motivation. Your hard work is going to pay off. Do know that um, it's not all in vain. Don't abandon ship. Don't jump ship. Don't leave. Don't let it go. Keep going. Uh, keep the faith. You know, all of the above. Um, you need to be more discipline. You also need to write down your goals. You need to think about where you want to be in the next few months, in the next 12 months, in the next five years, because this is how you're going to execute. It cannot be all up in your head. You're going to have to put it on paper. Therefore, when you find that maybe you're veering off course, you go back to paper, you read paper, you say, Oh, I was supposed to be here doing this at this appointed time. So you need to put things on paper and you need to execute it well. You can't execute anything that's just stuck up in your mind. No, you have to put it on paper. Um, you're doing, you're doing a lot of hard work Aquarius. And that's why you had repeating theme in terms of get rest, self care. You need to get some rest, self care, take some time out for, for yourself. Make sure you're not around, um, disagreeable, argumentative, crazy ass people get rest, incorporate rest in your work. Okay. So I'll rest, I'll work for eight hours. I'm going to rest for one hour or two hours and I'll get back at it. Especially if you're self-employed, if you're not, then you need to make sure that when you're at work, you are taking breaks. Okay. You also need to, some of you are engaging in studying and teaching. So, but you need to take a break from that. Sometimes you need to go do something fun, clear your mind, come back to it. Don't be controlled and don't be controlling. This is we're it's going to be a full moon in Pisces kind of today in, in some hemispheres. And then, um, in the United States it's going to kind of fall 
tomorrow on the 10th Saturday, right? So full moon in Pis Pisces is a mutable sign. So you got to be super flexible. The energy can turn into anything at this time. So don't be too controlled and don't try to control others. You need to be extremely ambitious with new moon and Capricorn. Your dreams coming true. We know in the new moon, we want to bring in the energy that we want and that we want to uh, rest with us. Um, this is a, a time for manifestation on the new moon. We're having a full moon tomorrow, but um, new moon. So you need to talk about or you need to be very serious because Capricorn is serious about ambition, about being the boss over their life, over their time, um, over the trajectory of your life in totality not just a job not just a relationship but being the boss in your life completely in everything so you need to be extremely serious about it you can't put it pick it up today put it down for the next two weeks and then pick it up again in two weeks you you have to be consistent hard working and serious about your dreams because they could be coming true it just says keep going keep going you got you know, repeating pattern here. Now we're going to talk about a little bit about love, uh, and, and maybe love relationships, people you love. They don't have to be romantic. So we got a new romantic cycle begins. We have new moon and Libra. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Um, so we got something starting and then maybe it ending or disseminating or turning it into something else or it, it mutating. So something started, it was hard to keep it together. It was hard to maintain this connection or this relationship, or it's hard to maintain connection, relationship with friend, family. It always seems like it just, it's combustible. It always turns into something. I'm getting the word argumentative again. Um, it always turns into friction, tension, uh, a fight. Um, therefore it's, but it's, it's changing. Something is changing here. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. So maybe you're on the out with a loved one. It says that maybe a relationship will have a reboot, a restart, a, a, a kickstart. Um, it's just about how you two operate with one another right now. Uh, things are changing. Things are mutating. People are changing. People, this is a time where you're really going to feel a lot of, um, emotions. Okay. Especially with nothing is yet set in stone. This is the time where, especially with the full moon in Pisces tomorrow, you're going to, you need to kind of drill down on those emotions. How do you feel? Why do you feel like, why is it so, um, why, why is it like this? Why are they like this? Make sure you're not being led astray also. Um, because some of you are kind of like trickling, meandering towards your goal. Stay focused, but stay adaptable too, you know, because you might have to adapt to something. Also in love, you might have to adapt to something changing, adapt to, okay, I heard like somebody moving or making a move. Um, nothing is finalized here. It could definitely be changing. There could be a course correction um, with the religion and spirituality. Uh, you know, clarifying these two cards, somebody could be going through like, um, a real soul awakening, spiritual awakening, you or someone else or someone around you. This is, uh, this is going to be a really extremely heightened time with this full moon in Pisces. It's a harvest moon. It's also what you're, you know, the work that you've done, the hard work paying off, you're going to see a re re reward, um, you know, for it, all of that work. And then also the work that you've done on yourself in terms of love and love relationships. Um, this is a time for you to, um, I heard say, I love you. Okay. This is a time for you to say, I love you. Uh, this is a time for you to feel more and think less, especially with this full moon in Pisces. You need to pay attention to your appearance, but you don't need to be all about appearance. This could be the universe putting you in the right place at the right time. You need to stay adaptable you know, um, mutable, um, you may get an invitation somewhere, go, you know, go make sure you look your best. Everybody's best. is going to be different. You may change how you look. Also, there might be some significant changes, maybe in terms of um, getting a makeover, doing something different with how you look, how you present yourself to the world. Um, if you're in some type of legal matter, it looks like 
stay mutable in this. Don't be rigid uh, or don't sign anything just yet. Let things kind of mutate. Um, state your peace. Be unmovable in, in, in your non-negotiables because Libra is about negotiations, but it also st says um, be mutable. You know, maybe you're asking for a certain dollar amount. They come back with a thousand dollars less. Okay, you can move. You can okay you, negotiation, give or take. You have to compromise there. Okay, you're losing a thousand dollars from what you asked. Just at this point, this might be the best they can do. Okay, so you have to look over that. Be prayerful, um, but don't be so rigid. To no, I want my thousand dollars into where you hold up and you halt an entire process and maybe even put people, you know, in a bad space or, um, now people look at you, you know, you, you give your name gives a, you know, bad taste in someone's mouth. You might need to get a lawyer. You might have a case in regards to something. Um, marriage or engagement could be in the cards for you. Don't give up ye or, what is it ye oh little faith i don't know it's something like that's coming up in my spirit it's like the universe is saying you don't have faith in this connection in this person in this happening for you but we're making it happen for you um stay prayerful have a an active prayer life or um this is like prayer vigil also i don't know this could be someone for someone you love or you lost okay uh, there's a lot going on here. You also might need to reach out to someone to let them know that you still care about them uh, for whatever reason. It doesn't have to be that it's in, you know, a romantic relationship. If you don't feel like you need to do that, then don't do it. It's all up to you. Uh, and be prayerful. Before you do anything, make sure that you're instituting prayer. Okay, should I reach out, God? Give me an answer. Give me a sign. And wait. And you'll get it, you know, um, in all, in all things, especially when they're, when you, you're, tr you don't want to lean to your own understanding, you know, um, when you can't trust your own understanding. Yeah. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no agitation, no anxiety. This is what I'm talking about. It's like the universe is trying to get you to a place of understanding that you're about to meet someone. Um, they're, they're talking about making sure that you look good, um, uh, meditate and contemplate just flew out onto the floor, new moon in Pisces. So you need to take some time to take a step back and contemplate. This is a very emotional time. This is a make it or break it of your goals, a relationship. This, this could be, um, this could work. It could not be bold and make the first move. So back to reaching out to somebody. I don't, I don't know. You know, you have to be prayerful about that. Um, also, I'm here like sur surrender to the divine, let go of the ego. You don't want to reach out because it seems as if you're, you're chasing or you care more than the other person. This person may feel as if you just don't care. Um, it says, you know, you don't have to be reckless again, back to praying before you act, um, come into your power right now. It's a time for action. It also says be bold and follow your heart and your emotions. Back to is this is a time for feeling more and thinking less. Feel, feel, feel. And, and being in charge of your destiny. Once again, being the boss, the Capricorn, being the boss um, over your life, over the trajectory of your life. You know, be, be bold. Make the first move towards changing your life. Don't wait for anybody to come knock on your door and say, Okay, I know you have that dream that you're you're after. Let's go ahead and work on it together. Um, it, nothing is impossible, but again, it's like you're you're trying to play the lottery. Not everybody wins the lottery, but you can um, you can make changes in your life. If you want something to change, you have, you have to be the change. It says be bold and make the first move. If you want to start your own business, if you want to monetize a hobby, if you want to do something like that, be bold, make the first move. Get under some type of stu uh, study, teaching, uh, mentorship. Um, invest in yourself. Uh, be ambitious like the Capricorn, all right? What else do we have here? Wait. 
Wait on answers. That's what I'm talking about. Don't just move. Don't be reckless. Re- being reckless is not being like this Capricorn energy and having a plan. You are you just reckless? You just jumping out there. I'm gonna start my own business. Where's your business plan? I don't have one. Where's your savings? I don't have one. Where's your marketing strategy? I don't have one. I don't need it. I don't like. I just need spirit. Good luck with that. No, I really do mean that. Good luck with that. I don't. Yeah. Choose a new direction. Something that you're doing is not where you're supposed to be and you know it. You can feel it in your bones. You feel it in your spirit. You feel it. Um, something about take the path of least resistance. Okay. It's like you're trying to march up this hill and you just keep sliding back down. You may have suffered loss in your career and your love life. It's because you keep marching up a hill that's not for you. What about the valley over there? Okay. What about going around the hill or the mountain? Some of you just keep trying to take the same direction. You need to choose a new direction. Yeah, because something is unlikely to happen for you in in that direction. Um, Something's unlikely um, to move uh, forward in a particular direction that you're, you're focused on, that you're steadfast on uh, moving in um it's unlikely that you're 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 going to fail if you choose a new direction oh okay all right let's see what else all right yeah you need to reconsider something okay you need to go back to and then you need to take action you need to delegate also ask for help from others you can't do everything you have big dreams big plans um in the near future something excuse me, something that's manifesting for you, something that's happening. You need to ask help of others, okay? Um, let's see. Some of you don't want to ask for help from others because you just you want to feel like, oh, I did this all by myself. It's still yours. Whether you got outside help, it's still yours. Some of you don't want to ask for help. Your, your fear of someone stealing or taking from some of you just don't have a clear, concise plan. Yeah, some of you just doing a lot of talking, not enough action, okay? But you need to kind of shield yourself and maybe talk less. Um, keep things to yourself. Uh, move in secrecy and silence, okay? There could be a loud mouth person trying to figure out your plans, but it says keep quiet. Come out of hard headedness back to that, that hill. You keep trying to climb up and you just keep sliding down. Come out of that. The universe is saying it's take the path of least resistance. Something that is not going to require all of this effort from you. Um, hiding several secret affairs from you. So somebody could be talking behind your back. Someone could be talking against your Wow, this flipped out business, telling your business, trying to get to know your business. Um, There's several people, you know, in your life who doesn't, they don't mean you any good. Come out of, um, I don't know, some of you are doing something a little too much. This could be a little too much drinking, eating, overindulging. It's escapism. I hate my job. It's hard to handle. I hate my life. I hate my marriage. I hate my relationship. My kids get on my nerves. I'm going to, I'm going to smoke. I'm going to drink. I'm going to do it in access because it gives me a place of release and escape, but you need to find a healthier escape is what the universe is saying. Um, if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. It's in reverse. Something is true. Some of you didn't want to hear the truth that somebody is not resourceful. They don't have what you need or they can't help you. That somebody is a liar. Somebody is cheating or stealing from you. You may meet somebody new. I don't know. You might start sexting. What is this about? You may have met somebody new or there was like a fight. In in regards to maybe you finding out that somebody was sexting someone else. You started fighting. Um, a feminine oh back to that negative karma drama drama field relationship that's why that's why they said self care surrender to the divine okay so this is some of you still want to be like this spiritual guru like you know enlightened and all of this stuff but you still want to maintain 
residence in this karmic crazy ass relationship and the universe is saying no we don't rest in that place we can't you can't rest in duality where you're cur cursing somebody out on monday and then on wednesday you're an ascended master come on choose choose this day and that's why we got this energy yeah okay so some of you and that's why they were saying you're gonna have to let some relationships go you're gonna have to surrender or sacrifice you keep trying to take these people with you and try to get them to be ascended and blah 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 fast thinker so you i don't know if somebody thinks quick this could be a liar that maybe treated you unfair now they're straight up stalking you somebody's trying to think of a plan of how to come back even though they, they treated you unfair you may have put them in a friend zone you may have even used the word friend with them you know like oh it's good to hear from you friend when it used to be like hot and heavy love relationship you know so somebody's trying to figure out how to get out of the friend zone and they're straight up stalking you you know uh, let's see what else for the aquarius no legacy Some, no this is no this is not long term or you weren't building anything with this person they want to come back now they're seeing that you're deserving of back to some of you doing a little bit of something too much there's also somebody here who feels like you're deserving of all that you want a real relationship of respect regard putting you on that pedestal right it's, it's making them extremely passionate um fiery in regards to coming back to you this is like obsession like somebody's now obsessed with coming back to you. they want to text you they want to reach out to you this could be coming from a masculine to a feminine it doesn't have to be that you're a man and a woman it's just you know that energy so figure out where you fall on the spectrum oh uh, let's see yeah i can't make it up somebody stuck on you but they failed to show you i heard respect regard it was a failure the relationship was you maybe you showed up kind to this person you are even showing up kind to this person now even though they were horrible to you sex with my friend or friends some of you refuse to be in like friends with benefits type of relationships like if i'm not your girlfriend fiance wife i'm good and that's how some of you are coming out for if i'm not your boyfriend husband we're good i don't need it in my life you know um there's also somebody here who maybe they stopped they're they were calling all these people that they were dealing with or like talking to friends like that's my friend but they were having sex with them but maybe they stopped somebody is again back to that spiritual awakening and love i don't know you know maybe somebody's coming to an awareness that you know i have a philosophy this is my own personal philosophy you do not have to partake in it but it does work for me um i have so for me there's friend and lover if i say oh that person is an ex-lover then that means that person has seen me naked we've had sex if I say they're a friend, that's all it is. We're friends, handshake. And if, so what I'm saying is that whomever you're dealing with, or this is you Aquarius, I don't know, somebody has a convoluted idea or idealism about what a friend is. You don't have sex with your friends. It's either they're a friend or a lover. Um, lover in the terms of, they seen you naked okay y'all been in the sheets or wherever y'all do it um and it just makes for things easier and simpler if i were sitting at the bar with my now uh husband and a guy that comes in a guy walks into the bar i and i i know him 
And my husband said, oh, how do you know that? I said, that's an ex-lover. My husband will immediately put in his mind, okay, this guy has seen my wife naked. They had sex, you know? If I said, that's my friend, that's all it was. We were friends, handshake. Maybe, you know, we just didn't get to the place of sexual activity. Maybe it was, we met and it wasn't supposed to be that, whatever. But somebody here, they used to, you used to ask about, all of these people that they were calling their friend and they were like, just, Oh, that's just my friend. That's a friend. That's my homie. That's my, but they were having sex with these people. So it was like completely confusing and convoluted because you wanted to believe in your spirit with you being kind that, Oh, okay. That's just his friend. Or, you know, he can have a uh, female friends or she can have male friends, but the, the, they were more than friends. And it just made for the situation to be sticky, drama. The Aquarius is the sign of, I know. So when we don't know something, it causes great friction. So if I don't know that this woman who just came up and gave you a hug, that you guys have been intimate sexually, because you keep calling her a friend, you're putting my mind, my my understanding, my I know, you're putting me in a, in, a, in a bad place, says the Aquarius. All I wanna do is know. Don't put me in a place of not knowing because that's where we're gonna have friction. I don't know, that was for somebody. There's somebody here who's miserable in their house also or in their relationship. So you could have been dealing with somebody who was already in a relationship. They're miserable in whatever they, you know, have gotten themselves into. Somebody's coming out of penny pitching with you, whether that it is money or it was time, energy, effort. In the past, they used to say, oh, it just costs too much. It Meaning, I would have to sacrifice too much to be with Aquarius. I would have to be better. I would have to get rid of. I would have to, mm, it just caught, but somebody's coming to a place of maybe understanding, awakening. They're no longer saying it costs too much, you know? So um, also they could be giving now, wanting to give to you. However, yeah, because they were unkind. This could be family also. I don't know why I'm getting that. It could be family. God is showing up here. Supreme being over all morality. Supreme being over all morality. God. God showed up. Wow, that's funny. It showed up after this person saying it, it, it costs too much in reverse and unkind. Maybe God showed them that they, you were a piece of shit. You were really a piece of shit to somebody where they, it was a lot of potential. This person, you know, they had their own demons, but at the same time, you you were unkind to somebody who was showing you kindness. God may really be, you know, speaking to this person, working on this person. Ye, uh, old little faith, or don't quote me on that scripture, but something like that. Yeah, I can't talk after 8 p.m., sorry. Somebody may be putting restrictions, parameters on um, their life and relationships that cause a lot of drama. Like if you cause the Aquarius drama or it's, you know, it's drama in terms of talking to you, you want to gossip, you know, you, you look up, you look at gossip shows. You, I don't know, you just, what, if it doesn't feed Aquarius higher vibing nature, they just don't want to be a part of it. And they, you might be putting, or you need to put parameters, uh, boundaries on people who, who push the push the envelope with you or they want you to be like you used to be. You might need to put up some boundaries like, you know, uh like excuse me, I can't talk after 8 p.m. Sorry. You know, you might have to do that. This is also a restriction on your diet, what you eat, what you don't eat. You might need to this is also like working out. You need to get more committed in regards to your body, self-care coming up. Let's see. Ghosting. I can't make it up. You might have to ghost these people. You have to just, you know, gradually ghost them. You know, give them excuse. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm busy after 8 p.m. I'm sorry. You may have been dealing with somebody here who was ghosting you after a certain 
hour they just weren't available it, it didn't sit right with you it doesn't sit right with you you know that something is up take the path of least resistance okay you're getting resistance there so you need to go with a new direction right the path of least resistance stop trying to fight for stuff fight for people's affection time energy love just take the path of least resistance learn how to walk away learn when to hold them when to fold them sometimes you use, yeah go in the path of happiness yeah don't compromise on your happiness aquarius um something is not safe or safe there's no safety because somebody is broken and you just need to move on from that all right um you you're nobody's god you can't fix them yes you you know you've come into a higher vibration but if they don't want to do that for themselves you can't coax them into it coerce them into that you can't shove it down their throat they just don't want it it is what it is you gotta go and grieve that yeah you're coming into understanding something maybe um something being illuminated to you, you could be caucasian um somebody was cheating while someone was pregnant somebody was cheating while someone was pregnant someone was cheating or lying while some Somebody was cheating and lying. This looks like somebody had a relationship over here that they were trying to grow. Then they were cheating over here because it, it doesn't even have to be pregnant or pregnancy. It was like um, trying to grow a relationship over here, but then also cheating over here. So that could have been what was going on. Somebody moved on their ass, maybe moved up spiritually also, but there's growth here. Somebody actually moved, a residential move or a residential move is coming for you. Growth. Whoa, that came out. Yes, get a yes answer. What is that yes answer about? Yes, you are growing. Yes, there is growth. Um, maybe growth in your finances. Um, you're going to come to awareness that uh, maybe by your birthday, ooh, you're going to move, Aquarius, or somebody's birthday. Um, yeah, you're going to stop loving something or giving love to something. Yeah, because this person is just debased. This person is just stuck in carnality. Sex, drugs, cars, image, status. You know, that's what they, they're after. And this, this shit is giving you gray hair or you've been dealing with it for a really long time. Um, maybe coming out, maybe they'll change. Maybe they won't. It just is. Yeah, just is. Just is. And come on. You've got to just walk in there. It just is. It just is how it is. Boo. Let's, let's get some... What other cards do I have? Oh, let's talk about this. These cards fall onto the floor. And then this this will close us out. So we're going to leave with it just is. Maybe they will change. Maybe they'll come into enlightenment with the speed and yellow card. But right now, it just is. You need to accept what is. Not what isn't. Not what you want it to be. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Maybe by Aries time. Or you could have Aries in your chart. Something is definitely going to you know take off burst for you your commitment is being tested okay are you really committed to your goals reevaluate where you are what you're doing uh confidence is the key to your success confidence can be synonymous with knowledge so if you don't have the knowledge base if you haven't learned if you had not studied then of course you're not confident in it if you don't know anything about aerodynamics but they want you to go fix a plane an airplane you're, you're like well hold on i don't feel confident and doing it why because i don't have that knowledge to do it so confidence and knowledge are synonymous so when you feel like you don't have confidence in something just know you don't have the knowledge base so you may in lack of confidence in a relationship i don't know what this person is up to i don't know what they want from me i don't know who they've been with i don't know you so always just kind of know that that those two go hand in hand so some of you might need to get more knowledge about something so that you can have success. It's the key, key unlocks something, right? So it's the key to unlock success. Knowledge is the key to unlock your success, all right? So get some knowledge. We have more cards. So your cards are really repeating. Um, 
make sure that you have the knowledge of. You're gonna have to buckle down, study, get under some mentorship, some tutelage. It's okay, invest in yourself. Uh, make it work, make it happen. If you don't have the money, pray about that first. Um, where can I find the money? Not give me the money out, but where can I find the money? Do I need to work more hours? Or, oh, the job doesn't have more hours for me to work. Um, God, help me get a second job. If you don't have money, how do you get money? Most of us get money by doing some type of work. Most of us do. So instead of praying to God for money, you need to pray to God for more work. You have not because you ask not. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Ask for what you need and not what you want or you'll always be a beggar. I want to make you the head and not the tail. So that's what I got for you, Aquarius. Um, looks like a really good reading. Your, your dream is about to come true. You got a little bit more work to do. The energy is gaining momentum. If you want to be around like-minded individuals who want to gain momentum in their life and keep the momentum going, go ahead and join the monthly conference call, KTMG. Keep the momentum going. Invest in yourself. $20 in yourself will help you unlock, unleash, get to a place of making things concrete in your life. You may say, I don't have a lot of money to start my own business, so I don't wanna even embark on that. Okay, great. But the start of a business doesn't always start with shelling out all this money. It starts with a plan. It starts with a mindset, with an attitude. It starts with getting around people who have done what you're trying to do. It starts with picking the brain up. It starts with, let me show you where you can start without having this great investment. And then let the great investment come in you when there has been change made in you. Universe spirit wants to make your dream come true, but nothing has changed about you. This is what I have for you Aquarius. I hope you stayed this long because there were some gems here at the towards the end of the reading. Um, many blessings to you. Go ahead, sign up for the KTMG uh, wait list. Get on the wait list. Uh, I think, I, oh, it's opening up. Okay, so it's open now. So it's open. Go ahead, sign up for the KTMG. Keep the momentum going. A monthly conference call where we talk about practical and spiritual method to either start or grow your business. Uh, business idea, getting around like-minded individuals, networking, talking about um, your shortcomings and where you can uh, you know, rise to the occasion in your own life, be the boss in your own life. And if you feel like you want to connect with me, uh, maybe with a uh, one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, go ahead and schedule your discovery call to where I can see if I'll, if you'll be a best fit for me and I'm a, if I'm a best fit for you. So go ahead and, um, go ahead and schedule your complimentary discovery call. The links are below. Take advantage Aquarius. This is the time. It says take action. Ask for help from others. Take action. Ask for help from others. Reconsider. All right. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.